Now to that crime tracker alert and the chilling video moments before deputies say these men murdered a man and his stepson. Deputies hope this new clue gets results and finds the killers. The murders happened late last month at a home on 151st Place Road in Weirsdale. That's in Marion County. Jennifer Ortega is there. It's been almost a month now since his father and son were murdered inside their home. The family still searching for answers and tonight detectives say they could be one step closer with this new surveillance video. Notice the blue car on the right side of the screen as it pulls into the driveway. Two men get out and approach the house, one wearing a black hoodie, the other a red hoodie. I believe they're two black male subjects uh, and they were both wearing masks and they uh, just just uh, clothing that 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 covered their their skin and any kind of identifying features. The man in black walks up the steps and looks inside as a one in red keeps watch. Giving the all clear, they creep around to the patio, their demeanor slouched over. Now each of them exposing their handguns and quickly making their way inside. It's a shocking video to watch, uh, to watch them go in there and they they definitely go in there with a motive to kill. We're looking for anybody that notices, you know, who these people may be, their, uh, the way they walk, what they're wearing. Detectives saying tonight they believe these two are the killers of 18 year old Bailey Zylo and his stepfather, Andy Fockler. Their bodies were found inside the home after what deputies are calling a home invasion and robbery. These are the suspects. These are the people that entered the home and shot this family. This is an 18 year old and his stepfather that was killed and this family wants answers and they deserve that justice. Detectives say now there's a $5,000 reward. If you recognize the two suspects in that video or have any information that can help, call Crime Stoppers. In Marion County, Jennifer Ortega, News 6.